Hello everyone, hello! That's right here with more Hoshigami Rune Blur. Now, yesterday I thought it was the finale, but unfortunately this level and this level took fucking forever. Now, that's not great, but you know, it is what it is. However, I went and did some grinding, um, and we got ourselves a new deity. I'm just checking to see if there's anything new here, and it did not appear to be. Alright. I'm gonna buy some uh, antidotes, though. With my meager amount of funds. Anyway, so I went and uh, grinded a bit yesterday, and I, I may have gone a little overboard, but that's okay. Uh, so, oops, I don't want to go into options. Alright, so, not 75, so I've gone quite a bit, but I unlocked Bug Tiss. Now, I didn't have much time to get Sasrae up to very high on Bug Tiss, because I had to get um, Son of a pretty high for him. But I got the first level, which got me counter plus 50%. Now, yeah, Chester, Chester here is Bug Tiss level 12. And I'll show you what that grants Chester. So, he has counter 50% Merchant, which... Merchant's okay, I guess. But it gives you physical damage plus 30%, physical damage minus 30%. Uh, armor break 25%, weapon break 25%, accessory break 25%, coin break 25%, life and death, which makes it so that your hit, evade, and damage go up when your HP is low. Seven pains, which causes all negative status effects per hit. 7 guard, protects from all negative effects, and counter 100%. So, for Chester, I couldn't exactly decide what skills I wanted to put on, because there's so many good ones, and you can only have three. So I ended up going with... Uh, physical damage plus 70%, weapon break plus 25%, and... Uh, Seven pains. However, I'm considering dropping the physical damage plus 30% and just going for armor break. Having Chester just be uh, the status and... You know what? I'm going to do that. Chester, we're going to have you focus on just destroying the enemy's... Uh... Armor and weapon. Alright, it's probably not going to matter in the last level. They're probably going to have huge amounts of defense against it now I think about it, but we can swap that if needed. Uh, the other thing I got was uh, Trish. Trish is uh, Elvila, the light goddess now. Which gives luck plus 50%, physical hit plus 30%, equip coin plus 2, uh, dev plus 50%, 7 guard, so another way to protect against all ne negative status effects, jump plus 3, coin fade damage minus 30%, absorb plus 100%, physical evade plus 30%, and that's all I've gotten for her so far. With that said, guys, uh, let's hop into the next level. Let's see what this Ixian Temple is like. Now, if we finish the game today, we will most likely, depending on what time we finish it, 
start Final Fantasy VII. That symbol! This must be the Ixian Temple, then. Of course. Yep, it's gotta be. Okay. Well, at least this time we don't have to protect anyone, so we can just go all out. Hey, Chocobo! Oh, I don't have the ability to see hidden items on my character anymore. I forgot about that. Shit. That's fine. Doesn't look like there's any casters in their ranks, so... This will damage the safe set weapon guard. These guys just seem to be able to cast. These are all a weapon guard. Status effects here. gonna do with her level ups, but quite a bit. Alright, I'll take it. It is a slow start. I, I agree with that, Chocobo. Chester. Well, holy fuck, he broke his weapon too. Chester just shut down this entire side of the uh, the arena. strong as I would like, but... Hmm. 
Ooh, Kristen doing some damage now. All right. What I like to see. All right, our first turn was a good one. Characters can actually do some damage now. But alas, now we gotta wait for them to go through their turns. I like how they didn't even get a turn and their blind had already cleared. I think that depends on the person. I personally don't mind uh, the slow start. It doesn't bug me. But, uh... That's why DQ8 isn't my favorite game, because it does have a relatively slow start. But... I like the combat system, I like the leveling system, uh, the graphics are nice to look at, so it's enough for me to be like, eh, whatever. But, you know, I respect that you you find it. Holy shit, I got a 5% chance to hit her. He hit her with a 5% chance, come on! Absolutely ridiculous. He died from poison. Having to do the same part over and over again would be dull. I agree with you there. Would add a bit to its dullness. I think that's gonna hit all of them. more. Hey, look at that. We got Elvill up. All that matters is I don't know if I'm going to be able to even go to an end. This may not hit one of them, actually. Shit. Oh, well. It's fine. Got a 4% chance. Yes. Oh, sick. Muslims over here feeling what I felt yesterday when they fucking kept hitting me with seven pains. I did, however, break its armor. But now it's got nothing on its armor. 
It still has 238 defense. Just baseline. You're lagging behind, dude. not able to take out Sephiroth, the one-winged angel. gonna go after Aisha now. Attack me, will you? This one's got like red eyes. And they're spread. Uh, maybe they always do that. Bitch. Oh, he's running away. Yay, dev up. Almost got him. Hey, I do got him. Um, Jeremy found a uh, a mod for me for DQ7 that uh, like ups its um, it's like a fan made. Uh, Upscaling patch for the PS2 versions that I might try. I think he's able to do a lot more damage though. Like yesterday he was doing like 400 first, so do quite a bit more. other coins I can put on her. Alright, I'm gonna have to do that. Alright, Romla. You can finish this guy off, right? Actually, probably not given I had to move first, but that's alright. Oh, jump close. And he blinded him. Oh, he will. Alright, never mind. My bad. Romla, you showed me up. I'm proud of you. Magnemite. Magnemite. 
if you did. <gasps> He's going after Trish. 5% chance. Miss. Alright, Chester, are you ready? I love it so much. This thing that's so much HP that it just feels like he's just like tackling them still. That's that time. Said I went a little overboard with my grinding, but at the same time, eh, whatever. A dancing bee and a circlet. That might actually be better than the bow she's using. At this point in the game, it might be better than the bow of Gote. It is cool. If not, whatever. We also got a circlet, which could be good for um, Trish. I wonder where the entrance is. I guess there's only one way to find out. Is it immediately just gonna put me into another battle sequence? There it is. Alright, so Trish, we can put two more coins on you. So what do I got that I can put on her? I know there's one that I want to put on her, and that's, um... Dancing bee is only slightly worse. Sorry, back there. Poke check him is not a uh, a command. All right, let's hop in there. What do we got for our next battle? We got a bunch of dudes. Defeat all enemies, okay. Guys so far I can break okay there we go. They can break my stuff. That was a lovely sound. Do we have all these guys now? I didn't even look at that level. What do you? But why did it jump down in level? They were like almost level 60 last time.
something else. We got these two paths blocked up that are really going to narrow down our ability to get through this fight. But with Krista here shooting them. Should be okay. Getting through on our next round. I don't know if she'll be able to hit him from here, but we'll give it a shot. Nope. I had to try. We broke through. Most of these dudes will just be skipping their turns, most likely. Not these ones, obviously, but... Holy shit. Galpo on the whole team. You can cast again? Alright, that's rare. They're tickling me, but it's still rude. Alright, once we're almost turns done here, we're gonna take a short break, guys. I know mid-level break, but honestly it's Oh we're almost you're just ending these dudes. Okay, so it's a good ending time, uh, break time, so don't go anywhere, we got more Oshigami for ya. We'll leave you with the serious sounding music. <laughs> 